you are such an amazing essence of the Father, and I truly appreciate you. Amen and amen. So this morning, I was literally in prayer, and I heard the name Pauline, and it just came to my spirit. Um, I give God the glory for you, and I thank the Lord for you. I really honor the Father for you. And it's just a dimension that, um, you know, most of the time when God calls us into something, the truth of it is, sometimes he reveals his plan, and sometimes that plan is a mystery. Or both of them depends all on faith to be, yeah, it all depends on faith. Because sometimes the Lord can have you walking like Abraham. Can you see that? And sometimes the Lord can have you walking <laughs> like in the dimension of the other patriarchs. You know, we have Moses, we have the rest of them, you know, and it tells you exactly what you need to do. You know, it's such an amazing moment because both of them require a different level of responsibility. And it is to that in itself, you know, with you, Pauline, it's like you're basically trying to, you know, you know exactly where you are at in the Father, which is absolutely beautiful. But what he has called you to do and what you're here to do upon creation can sometimes be a mystery which you're still trying to figure out. So it's a place that you've continued to learn about who you are. But what am I here to do? That's the whole essence of it. And I want to just bring this assurance to you that regardless of where you are, I want you to just to be encouraged that you need to keep going. I know that might not sound like, hey, you know, I just want to know. <laughs> and all I have to do is keep going. <laughs> yes, because this is what he said to Abraham. Leave your father's house to a land that I will show you. He didn't tell Abraham the land, but he told Abraham, he told Abraham you know, I will show you when you get there. And most of the time, I believe you have to understand that this is your faith that is at work. Because the faith that is at work in you is not just for you alone, but for those that you're called to. So in this dimension is where you begin to understand the scripture of 1 Peter chapter 1. And remember, rem if you know, I always say that every time you read the dimension of 1 Peter 1, it's a place that you have to, you know, you have to believe that, yes, you're walking in a dimension of faith, which is basically, you know, with of endurance at the same time. Can I read that to you? Yeah, I'm just going to read that to you so you're better off understanding exactly where it is. Now, it says here, in all this, you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. This have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith of greater worth than gold, even which perishes, even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen him, yet you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with inexpressible and glorious joy, for you are receiving the end result of your faith, which is the salvation of your souls. You know, when you begin to walk in this dimension, I want you to understand something. Your calling is far greater. <laughs> do you see that dimension? Your calling is so great. And this is the reason why he's walking you on a journey of faith. Because if you look at the dimension of Abraham, right? Abraham was walking, but yet he did not understand it. But when he got there, he finally found out. So it's a place where, you know, I'm just encouraged to share this with you because if you have to understand that on the journey to where you're going, a lot of things have to take place. It's not about the people, it's about you because he's trying to reveal you to you. So it might have seemed like a long time on this journey in which you're in, but you have to stay confident in him because there are many people that are going to be reconciled through you. There are nations that are going to figure, they're, just, they're going to find you out and they're going to say, hey, the Lord led us to you. So it is the purpose of this calling. I know definitely that this journey, you know, sometimes it can get tiring, but you're not tired. You know, you might feel weariness, but you're not weary <laughs> because the Bible declares, it says that what you will run and you will what? You will not faint. You will walk and you will you know, in the dimension of Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. So it is in that in itself is helping you to understand that you're far greater than what you've always thought yourself to be. Yes, because sometimes you might be looking at, hey, I can see this bungalow 
<laughs> and I'm okay with it. That's like a ground floor, a ground housing. And you're looking at it like, hey, this is, you know, I'm okay with this. But the Lord sees a mansion. Can we look at the Bible to help to express that which I'm saying? Rebecca, she was looking at the children in her womb and she was so glad that she's got twins. And she was like, thank you, Lord, for these children. And the Lord said, hey, we're not talking about children here. Those are nations inside of you. <laughs> Can you see? Just two seeds that has grown into, you know, into absolute love dimension. And she's looking at it like they're just babies. But what was inside of her? was nations the father called it so what is inside of you you are the manifestation of christ revealed upon creation and in this hour that you might not know he keeps it as a mystery because as you walk in faith it's been opened to you gradually so this is to help you to understand like i repeat again the dimension of that in itself your calling so i believe i'm discerning very strongly concerning you that he has been trying to call you out of places too because there are places that you're holding on to and those are places he's asking you to let them go he's asking you why because most of the time we can be in a place and we're praying for the lord that hey when you show me what's next i can live where i am no sometimes he works like that but not all the time why does he do that because when he shows you where you need to go and you need to move that's that's basically mercy but when you want when he's asking you to move from where you are in order to be where he needs you to be that's faith so you might basically move you don't know where you're going to but i'm asking you to step out of the boat and walk on water with me so because in this dimension there are people that i'm releasing to you and for that where i am calling you out from is for you to stay in the place where i need you to be in that moment so i can teach you the things i need to teach you because where you are can sometimes be a distraction to the things i'm calling you to so you can see a lot of people are trying to manage God in disobedience. But the truth of it is when we obey, then we begin to what? We begin to see the very purpose of his will. So it is for that in itself. He's lovingly calling you out and say, hey, I need you to come out of that place. Can I give you a scenario, Pauline? <laughs> I remember there was a very particular time that the Lord was saying to me, hey, Everything that you're doing, I need you to shut it down. And I'm like, Lord, how can you tell me to shut work down? I'm trying to make him, I'm trying to make money. You know, I'm trying to do all of these things, and you're calling me out of it. It was very uncomfortable, Pauline. It was very, very uncomfortable because it didn't make sense. How can God tell me to leave that place and then sit at home and do nothing? Does that make sense, Lord? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So until you show me what's next, I'm gonna be doing what I'm doing. <laughs> but do you know what happened? Eventually, everything began to dissolve one after the other. After the job went, <laughs> can you see that dimension? And I was like, okay, Lord, I'm still going to hold on to what I have. You know, I'm going to still be doing bits here and there and there. And all of a sudden, those things, they left too. So you can see, it was then I picked up the phone. I said, hey, hi, mom, can I come home? And she said, yeah, come. So I left, I went back. So after being there, I was still trying to do other stuff at the same time. But he said, no, I said, I want you to myself. I'm like, no, Lord, you can't have me to yourself. I still need to make some money. Eventually, <laughs> those things, they basically disappear. Can you see? It was taking off completely. I was struggling, but God was resisting and saying, no, you're not going to do it until everything came to an end can you see and it was a total surrender to him and say lord <laughs> after it had all come to an end i said lord now you have my attention what do we do from here on out and then that was when he began to say sit so he began to bring healing to places restoration to places then he began to show me a dimension of himself that i was yet to find out so you can begin to understand this is the reason why faith is needed so when you obey that in itself is when is able to what give you a lot more i know sometimes you know it's a place where, uh, you know, uh, Lord, how is it going to all work out? Yeah, those questions are needed once in a while. You know, Father, how is it all going to work out? And there is nothing wrong with asking those questions. But the word says, trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. Because it's the dimension of what? Trust in. And your faith. Because the faith he's trying to bring out in you is not just for you, but for generations to come.
you can see how they talked about Abraham's faith and look at who we look at today concerning faith because he's the father of faith. So you can begin to see because when other people that the Lord has called you to, they don't have the faith to continue. You have the faith to pull them along because the generations that you're here to speak to is the reason why the Lord has you hidden because when that time comes and he reveals you, they will come running to you because you are the way, the truth, and the life. So I understand with everything that is happening around you at this point in time. So the shame that are happening around you is like the shakings of Jonah. And he's saying, I'm trying to shake you because you're heading in the wrong direction. So I'm shaking you to lead you back in the right direction so that you can come into the fullness of the manifestation in what I have called you to, to walk into. So for that in itself, I want you to hold on to me because where we are going is such a great dimension that eyes have not seen ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of man. This is the reason why the kingdom of darkness cannot figure you out. Can you see why many people, they begin to challenge who you are in the spirit and yet you continue to rise above it? Have you noticed how they come and say, why should it be you? But yet you rise above what it is that they're speaking concerning you. Can you see the power that is at work in you? This is the reason why the father has been allowing you to taste and see because because he's calling you into that dimension where you're going to sit permanently in order to rule and reign with him. So you can see it, Paulie. So the shaking and what feels like a storm is not actually a storm, but it is a place where the shaking is happening to get you in the right direction. The people that is calling you away from is not because they are bad people. No, but it, you have to understand that you are far greater than where they are. So the more you continue to stay in that dimension, you're basically limiting yourself from ascending. Can you see that dimension? Because you have to understand it, that when you decide to rise above it, you find out how great you are. Because sometimes we can be around people that we are called to elevate, but because we chose to sit with them, we can't elevate them. So God has to find somewhere else for them to be elevated. So hence the reason why he said, Moses, you are the one who's going to bring these people out, but not the way you ought or you're thinking it will be done. So come with me to the wilderness where you're going to be there for 40 years and he was there for 40 years until he had an encounter Moses Moses and that is what is calling you Pauline Pauline <laughs> can you see the ground that you're standing on is a holy ground so take off your shoes because you know why I'm sending you to nations I'm sending you to presidents I'm sending you to kings and to princes and you're going to call them out of darkness into the marvelous light why because you are the chosen generation you are a royal priesthood. You are the chosen one. You are the one that I have called for this assignment to be made manifest. This is the reason why I cannot allow you to be limited. Hence the reason why I am accelerating your progression so that you can come up higher in me to see the dimension from where I am seated that you're called to bring these people out of darkness into the light that you have become. So Pauline, rejoice, but I say rejoice. So the uncomfortability it's me calling you out. It's not the enemy. It is not Satan. <laughs> it is not, you know, you know, we can be there. Or minor of, you know, warfare, warfare. I break the power of this. I break the power. You're breaking the power of God. <laughs> That's <what laughs> Do you see that dimension? You're breaking the power of God. It's like you're basically fighting God like Joseph, like Job, Jacob did. Can you see that? He was trying to fight it with the angel. So that's you, basically. You're resisting God and the Lord is trying to have his way. So in this hour is where he's asking you that your calling is far greater, hence the shaking. So as you hold on to him, he's bringing you to a place of abundance. He says that what? He has brought me into a broad place and the boundary lines are falling for me in pleasant places. This is the reason for the shaking because he wants to bring you into the broad place. And I pray that you're walking with him faithfully to answer that call because you know why? This is the dimension of glory because it's taking you from what? From glory unto glory. You are blessed, Pauline. You have a great, great assignment upon creation. You will not fail, but you will succeed. You will not fail, 
but you will succeed because heaven is all around you and heaven is where you're seated because it's inside of you and all the host of heaven with the cloud of witnesses and the 24 elders and the men in linen and the angels all together they are cheering you on because they know you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you can ever think of can you see that this is the glory realm and as you walk with him this is the dimension is bringing you to for all creation we see that glory manifest through you in jesus mighty name pauline you're great you're awesome you're absolutely wonderful and you are the light of the world love you pauline stay blessed in the presence of the most high god amen and amen blessings and i bless you with life and the mercy of god amen